Welcome everyone to another beautiful, gorgeous day. This is, you know, a fantastic week with like back-to-back -back workshops. And this Saturday, Sunday, we have our last level one workshop for the Angel Soul Therapy and Empowerment with Divinity. So if you have not yet registered with us and you wish to register with us, please do so. The important aspect of this workshop uh, you know, is not just knowing about angels. Our workshop deals at all planes of consciousness of bringing in that awareness, that transformation that is truly required. And whether I am, uh, you know, an X healer or a Y healer or this modality or that modality healer, whether I'm an engineer, whether I'm a doctor or a NASA scientist, we all have angels. We all have angels who can protect us and work with us at a daily level. So, this workshop is also powerful for other healing mediums of other modalities who would wish to equip themselves of just protecting themselves, if not anything else, with the angels, with this entire light brigade that is up there from God as a gift to humanity and creation. So all those who wish to register with us, know the details, get onto our website, www.sahh444.in and fill the reach us form or send us a mail on register at sahh444.in and we shall revert to you with details. Today is the last day of registration as we have to send our pre-workshop instructions to all the participants. So, hope to see you there and may you be empowered with divinity all along. Now, let's ask our angels what is the beautiful message for today. The angels tell us, we protect, motivate and guide you to release all unnecessary burdens from your shoulders and give yourself breathing room to heal. Why do you need to burden yourself with the worries of everyone around you? Understand that each of you have your own journey. You can help them but not live their life or bear their burdens. There was this beautiful thing that the angels had guided while reading something else some time back. That we can walk with someone. We can walk in front of someone. We can walk behind someone. But we cannot walk for someone. And this is a very, very important lesson. Because all our lives, we kind of, you know, shoulder this overbearing burden of everybody's life. Oh my God, he's just not listening and I want him to do this good and I want him to do that and he's just ruining his life or she's doing this and I don't know why she's doing this. She knows this is not good for her. Yes, at times our soul has to experience that not so good and we go through it irrespective of anything. And at that time, even if like the God form would come down and tell us, we would still go ahead and do it. The reason being that it's our journey and we have to experience what we have to. We can lessen the intensity of these experiences by reprogramming the way we respond to these events, to these challenges that face, you know, head on unto us. The angels tell us that by burdening ourselves with other people's worries and journey, we are not doing any good to their karmic process or ours. We are overburdening our karmic journey and in the bargain, weighing down much more and shall not be able to help anyone else either. We shall break down in the frequency where they belong. So, it is important to realize, as per this message, that if anyone is in the quicksand, you cannot jump into the quicksand and help them out. Neither can you be very far away. We have to be right at the brim. Right at that beautiful brim where we can put in our hand and pull the person out but have that strength in our hand to hold them strongly and get them out of it. If we are weak and if we are shaken by the victimhood or the frequency that they are dwelling in, then it will be as good as being in the quicksand with them. And we shall not be able to help them, but all the more, we shall jump into it as well. So the angels ask us to unburden ourselves. And if there is any loved one who seemingly is 
not on the seeming right path or doing something seemingly wrong, pray for them. You can pray for your loved ones and ask their guardian angels to help them see the light. Help my son X, Y, Z to move away from all unserving friends. Help my son, daughter to study better. Guardian angels of my son, please do this, please do that. Guardian angels of my wife, husband, mother, mother-in-law, this one and that one. Ooh, the list is endless. Pray to them. They are tireless beings and they are always there with us. With that, we move on to the color of the day. And today's color is the beautiful, loving, tender emerald green for the heart chakra. So use the emerald green to cleanse and clear your heart chakra of any kind of knots and twists and turns that it might have had and that mm, tightness that it might be experiencing due to any events that have hurt you, impacted you, imprinted adversely upon your DNA system, in your cellular body or any trauma that has just created a residence within you. Work with the emerald green and let all of it go to the light. Let the angels purify it and transmute it in the light of God forever and ever. With that, we bless you for another wonderful day ahead. Stay blessed, loved and protected. In love and light and Godspeed. <laughs>